What's up guys, it's Hunter from Reptic Guys here, and I'm coming at you guys with our first bearded dragon care video. It's uh, really simple to take care of these bearded dragons. They're really easy, um, like beginner level. It's simple. Uh, I guess we'll just start off with the lighting. Um, I, you have to have a UVB. I'm pretty sure this is a 10.0 UVB. Um, I think 10.0 is the highest. It might be higher, but... That will be fine for them. Um, I have two heat lamps because a 55 gallon is very big. And by the way, a 55 gallon is perfect for an adult. It could last their whole life. But um, if your bearded dragon gets bigger than 26 inches or so, you should probably boost up to a 75 gallon. So he can fully do a 360 around so he doesn't have to hit his tail against the glass and stuff. But um, yeah, so lighting... Um, the basking spot should be around 105 to 110. That's, like, perfect for a bearded dragon. They, they like desert stuff, so, well, they live in the desert, so they like it really hot. Um, cool side. The cool side, you should keep it 75 to 80. That's really good. They like it cool at night, so that's the same temperatures, 75 to 80 at night as well. Um, you have to have a water dish. As babies, they really won't um, drink water. So what I did is I just get a misting bottle. I don't have it right now, but I just get a misting bottle and spray the tip of his nose, and then he'll just lick the water off his nose. Simple way to get them to start drinking water. Uh, leafy... Like, leafy greens, it's like their feeding diet. Greens should be, like, 25% of their diet until they get about a sub-adult. Then it turns up to 50%. Um, yeah, so the greens are, you can use is, like, dark leafy greens. I use collard greens. I think it works the best. Um, yeah. So they mainly eat crickets. Uh, you'll be spending a lot of money on crickets because they really eat a lot they eat a lot of crickets i mean he was already when he was uh i don't know i guess a sub adult almost at a sub adult he was eating 60 large crickets that's insane it was so much it was a lot of money and uh so then we finally boosted him up to large crickets so yeah whenever whenever they get into like the 30s where they're just chowing down 30 small ones easily just boost right on to uh large crickets um so substrate, substrate, um, this is very important. A lot of people, if you don't have the right substrate, they'll like hate on you all the time. I use this uh, Reptic carpet stuff. I mean, it works really good. You can clean it. This is what I had when he was a baby. He had this 10-gallon carpet stuff. Um, it's, it's just simple. It's easy to clean. He likes it. I mean, he doesn't get stuck to it or anything. It's not really that, like, their nails can't get stuck in it or anything. It's really good. Um, but as they get older, they can actually get this desert blend stuff. It's, like, it's pretty much like sand. I'll show you what it looks like. It's, like, this stuff right here. It's just pretty much sand. Yeah, the it's, it's just sand, so, um, but I wouldn't use that until they get, like, older, like, at least a year and a half or two years old because they tend to eat the substrate. I don't know why. I guess, like, if they were eating, like, crickets or something and they missed a cricket and they ate the sand, uh, it would get in their digestive system and it's pretty, it's really bad for them. It can actually cause death. So, yeah, I'm... I really don't like sand. I don't know why I bought that. I bought that when I first got them, so um, I'm probably just going to stay on the carpet. But, um, so yeah, whenever you feeding, whenever you feed him, like, crickets and stuff, I put this calcium stuff on here. Uh, it's the Flunker's Calcium. It gives them D3, which is really good for them. Um... I just put it on the crickets. I sometimes put it on the veggies and stuff. Uh, oh, yeah, with the feeding, once they do get to adults, 
they'll eat mostly um, vegetables because they're really big for crickets, so they like bigger diets. So vegetables, I mean, you can feed them a bunch of fruits. And yeah, fruits are re yeah, fruits are really important for them because it also gives them D three. So you don't have to give them the vitamin stuff as long as you give them fruits. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, baths. You need to give them a bath. I'd say like once every month, or one or twice, or three times every four months or so, because they like when they're in shed and when they're spent in shed. Especially, you should give them a bath because it helps them like, get the shed off, um, like, when, when I clean the cage, like, you'll clean the cage a lot, because they crap a lot, um, whenever I clean the cage, I just put him in the bathtub, because it's easy, um, he'll be out of the, out of the way, and then I can just clean everything else, so, um, you should clean the cage, like, once a month, too, because it does get really dirty, if I, if I would have done a video before, he went through a bad shed, like here's a piece of it. He went through a really bad shed, and that that this is his back. He had a full body one, and shed was all over the place. It was just insane. I think I actually have a little video. I'll show you. Um. Yeah, it's like really simple. All you need to do is just keep up on feeding. Make sure the temperatures are right. Remember, it's one o five to one ten basking. 90 the night around the 90s on the hot side and then around the 80s on the cool side uh they like to hide at night so i'll put a hide i just have this hide log right here the half log um yeah like the basking spot should be like elevated towards the ba um the heat lamp that's why i have this little log thing that he's on right now um this hammock it costs like twenty dollars. It's a lot of money, but he tends to get on it every single day, and it actually works really good. Um, he didn't, he really enjoys it, and my other bearded dragon also enjoys it. So I don't know. I guess you guys could get one of those. Those they're really cool. You can get them at any pet store. I'm pretty sure. Uh, is that everything? Oh yeah. Um, feeding. Once they get older, when, once they're like younger, um, you can get them like mealworms and stuff like that. And then once they get older, you can start feeding them, like, pinky mice, like I did in my last video. I fed him his first pinky mice. He devoured it. But superworms. Superworms are awesome. They're, like, they're not good for them, but, like, they, like, um, I don't know. They just stuff them up, feed them. Whenever you don't want to feed them crickets one day, just feed them that and veggies. Very simple. These bearded dragons are very simple to take care of and everything. Um, basically covered everything um if i did forget something just comment a question below and i'll answer anything um oh yeah someone asked me before how much i spend on food for him i feed him like 20 crickets every other day so um i don't know about like 40 bucks a week or something maybe less than that maybe like 20 or something but yeah it's not that much i mean i buy a huge bag of veggies so he gets veggies every single day, and then he'll get crickets every other day. So he's pretty full. I mean, he's pretty fat. So, um, yeah, that's basically all you need to know about a bearded dragon. Very simple to take care of. Um, yeah, so. Oh, handling? Handling. You should handle them every other day. Tame them down. They, uh, mine's never bit me before. Bearded dragons aren't really, like, aggressive um, aggressive animals, I mean, mine's really nice, he's like, gentle giant, he's huge, but he's really nice, so, um, I don't know, like, I don't really care about the morphs, like, any morph is the same care, so, uh, that's basically all you need to know about them, so, see ya. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this guy hope this video will help any people that are getting bearded dragons. See ya.